Guys, we have finally made it up here to Big Sky, Montana. We have an evening off, so we're gonna go cruise down to Big Sky, the actual town proper, and uh, cruise up the canyon and go fish the Gallatin River, which I'm super stoked about. Me and Brian typically fish the Gallatin at least one day every year during this uh, archery shoot. And uh, we've never had phenomenal days, but had fun days. And that's what we're all about, is having fun days, okay? Having, having fun days, about to go do it. Guys, there's this very weird taboo thing in the world. It's mostly with your buddies when you go out, like fishing, hunting, trips, you know, away from home. You buy an absolute gigantic, gorgeous, beautiful, tasty pickle, and your buddies make fun of you the whole time. Bought a pickle, you're eating a pickle. Yeah, I love pickles with cheese. Why is that? Couple flies out. Fly hatch, pretty strong right now. Different river. Than yesterday, completely different tactic. Means different tackle. Not really sure what to expect. We have fished this area in the past. Never had great luck. Beautiful stretch of river. Very nice evening. Gonna go throw the kitchen sink at this river and see if anything will eat. Casey bought a bunch of flies at the local fly shop. That should help. So my next question for you guys at home is if you're into fly fishing or any kind of kind of fishing really, you go into these local fly shops. So where I fish at home, I kind of know the rivers and what's going on. When we come up here, we're you know, we fish just once a, year, once a year, if that. Every year's different. We come up at a different time every year. You know, in fly fishing, it's all about the hatch match, the hatch, right? We never know what's going on. There's supposed to be a spruce moth that, that is pretty prominent on this stretch of river, and the fish like um, the grasshoppers a little later, caddis. When you go into a fly shop, I think it's a mistake by asking the guys that work there what is working on the river, because these guys don't just work at the shop. They also guide floaters. They guide fishermen, right? So I asked a guy today, tonight, I'm like, what, what's going on up on the upper Gallatin? He's like, the caddis is always number one, like caddis. Like, but I noticed every fly he told me to use, there's little boxes that separate all these flies. Every fly he told me that was working was completely full of flies. I wanna know what was what was in that empty box. If everyone's buying those and using those, isn't that what's working? I don't know, is that what happens? If you guys work at a fly shop, is that what happens? You just try to sell through the surplus of flies you have extra? I don't know. I think it just depends on who you talk to. Some folks are super willing to help out, others maybe not as much. So this is what we're gonna use, this is what he recommended. Like I said, they have this prominent spruce moth hatch, which is not really happening. That's what the spruce moth is, or is supposed to represent. The owner of the shot was very helpful. This is the EC caddis. And then we're gonna go EC caddis up front, and then do double dry, and this is the X caddis. We'll put it back like 14 inches. Sick. Double dry setup going on. A little more technical of the fish technique, but not a couple bucks missing. I need to put some floating on these things, they're kind of sinking on me. First fish of the day. Oh, there he goes. New spot, new fly, new attitude. Right, Bri? That's right. No fish caught yet, to speak of. Little left W. A lot of beauty.
get this bigger caddis. Get another cup through it. Go brown or brown town. Top of his mouse. Browner. This river is loaded with fish like that. Eight to twelve inches. But you know what? You'll never hear me complain about that. On a dry fly, this is our backdrop. We were very fortunate to be able to do what we do, guys. We've said it a time or two, but believe me when I say we talk about this a lot. We want to thank you guys for watching the videos, buying merch, whatever it is. But uh, we are absolutely crazy, crazy passionate about creating content, doing cool things, and we just want Every once in a while, we want to tell you guys thanks. So, if you ever bought a piece of Hush gear or watching our videos, you're watching this now, hopefully, obviously. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you so much. And let us know if there's things you want us to see do different. If you want us, there's, there's things you want to see us do that we haven't done. Or let us know the things that you like seeing us do. Anyway, I'm going to try to catch 100 more of those right now. Well... We came, we saw, and we enjoyed it. Definitely did not conquer. Did not conquer. Casey. I was just telling Brian, I think I've fished this river now probably five times, five or six times. 15, 20 fish total. But nothing over like 12 inches. I caught approximately zero fish. Casey outfished me significantly this evening. Imagine that. <laughs> Which is a rarity. Still pretty, still fun. We were talking that it takes some time to learn some of these new rivers. They're very different than where we fished. Don't have them figured out yet. Part of fishing, half the battle is trying to learn how the rivers work and what bugs are popping off and what are they eating and all that fun stuff. It's like going to a new area to hunt elk. You gotta learn everything. You gotta learn their bedding zones, their feeding zones, their watering holes, where they like to travel. Same with fish. Like I said earlier, I have no idea what's going on with insects. Caddises were hatching, obviously. They're, they seem to hatch all the time. Got to be something, a nymph rig that these fish prefer, maybe a big giant streamer through some of these vast holes, I don't know. We're learning though, and we're going to continue to do so. And you guys should come along with us and learn with us. High five. It's as if the bug sent us a sign, like, hello, dummies. This is what you should have given. Yellow Sally's, <laughs> right at the truck. Thanks for nothing. A little late. <laughs>